Spatial locations are coded by neurons in the hippocampus called place cells, which have receptive fields for particular locations. Ensembles of place cells code sequences of locations that correspond to meaningful concepts like path to reward. Such sequences of place cells are coordinated by waves of electrical activity known as brain rhythms. As animals move through space, two types of hippocampal rhythms, theta and gamma rhythms, modulate place cell activity. Theta rhythms have a frequency of approximately 8 cycles per second, and gamma rhythms exhibit frequencies ranging from approximately 25 to 100 cycles per second. Theta and gamma rhythms co-occur with several gamma cycles nested within individual theta rhythm cycles. Discrete locations within a spatial path are thought to be represented within individual gamma cycles, with successive gamma cycles representing individual locations and individual theta cycles representing a sequence of locations that make up a path. There are actually two distinct variants of gamma rhythms, slow and fast gamma. Slow gamma rhythms exhibit lower frequencies of approximately 40 cycles per second. Fast gamma rhythms exhibit higher frequencies of approximately 80 cycles per second. The higher frequency of fast gamma compared to slow gamma means that more fast gamma cycles than slow gamma cycles can fit within an individual theta cycle. Since individual locations are thought to be coded within individual gamma cycles, this raises the hypothesis that, during the time course of a theta cycle, longer sequences of locations will be represented by sequences of place cells when fast gamma rhythms are present compared to when slow gamma rhythms are present. To test this hypothesis, we implanted recording devices in rats' brains to record spike trains from ensembles of place cells during slow and fast gamma rhythms. We then decoded the spike trains to reveal spatial paths represented by place cells during slow and fast gamma rhythms. During periods of fast gamma rhythms, sequences of place cells accurately track the ongoing trajectory of the animal. Within each fast gamma cycle, a discrete location is represented. Within a particular window of time, equivalent to several fast gamma cycles nested within a theta cycle, relatively short spatial paths are represented. During periods of slow gamma rhythms, sequences of place cells represent paths extending ahead of the animal's current location. This occurs because sequences of locations, not discrete locations, are represented within individual slow gamma cycles. Within a particular window of time, corresponding to several slow gamma cycles within a theta cycle, relatively long paths are represented. As an animal moves through space, the represented path jumps back to the animal's current location at the start of a slow gamma cycle. Then the represented path extends ahead of the current location across phases within the current slow gamma cycle. So how are longer paths represented during slow gamma rhythms? Sequences of locations, rather than discrete locations, are represented within slow gamma cycles, allowing for time-compressed representation of space. Play cell spikes occur across various slow gamma phases within a slow gamma cycle, with the different slow gamma phases conveying information about spatial location. Spikes that occur at early slow gamma phases represent earlier locations in the spatial trajectory. Spikes that occur at late slow gamma phases represent later locations. Across successive slow gamma cycles, a given place cell spikes at earlier and earlier slow gamma phases as the spatial path advances through the location represented by that place cell. In contrast, during fast gamma, individual locations are represented within individual fast gamma cycles. 
and spatial paths are represented across successive fast gamma cycles. Spikes occur consistently around the same fast gamma phase. Therefore, the fast gamma phase at which a spike occurs provides no additional spatial information. Previous work has suggested that fast gamma rhythms are involved in encoding of ongoing spatial trajectories, whereas slow gamma rhythms play a role in retrieving memories of upcoming locations or planning future trajectories. Our new results may then help explain how ongoing experiences are encoded in real time, whereas previously stored memories are retrieved or future actions are imagined in a time-compressed manner.